what's up legends? My name is Stefan Kunz and I'm gonna be your host today's live stream. We're going to draw one verse of the 30 days of Bible lettering challenge. It's the ninth round of the 30 days of Bible lettering challenge and it's day 13. And today's verse is Psalm 23 verse 4. I will fear no evil. I will fear no evil for you are with me. I'm really excited that you guys are here. It's Easter Monday and what better day today um, than to write out this quote or this verse on a Easter Monday. I'm really excited to, for you guys to be here. Um, it's a been a really interesting week so far. East, interesting Easter as well. I don't know how you spent your Easter. I was um, I was helping out in church with the the team, the live streams uh, on on Good Friday and on Sunday, and I rested on Saturday, which kind of feels really in line with what Jesus did uh, while he was in the grave. Maybe he was fighting some battles, who knows? But I'm really excited that you guys are here. I cannot wait. Um, we're going to take you, I'm gonna take you through the whole process of how I actually start off with writing a quote. So um, it's not really basically theory and I'm not gonna explain you all the intricate things about it, but I'm gonna try to be as vocal as my, with my thoughts as what I'm thinking about and help you guys um, go along the way. So here's what you can do during the live stream. You could either grab pen, grab some paper, grab a pen, grab some paper, the right order this time, and follow along. Do this exercise with me. You can actually get creative yourself. Uh, you can write, you can just copy me what I'm doing and try to learn from, from what I'm doing. You can also be creative by doing it yourself and, and try to draw it yourself. I want to just say thank you so much for Lao Hope and uh, Sneezy Design for or CZ Design for uh, the super chats. This is absolutely amazing. I also want to thank my list of Patreons who are actually really helping out with the with the live streams here. So here's a list of the most recent Patreon that I have. So I have Joanne, Carrie, um, Tamapa, who looks like Russian to me, Grace, I'm Taz, Martin Paseka, who give from $1 to $5 to $10. And I'm just absolutely overwhelmed by seeing the generosity of people that are supporting me in this time, um, supporting this channel here, making it possible, or for me even uh, an idea that I can pursue doing YouTube more often and doing these live streams. I love doing these live streams, these sessions, because I get to be creative during this time, and I hope that you guys will get to. And, uh, I cannot wait for what we have here. So thank you so much, Lao, Hope, uh, for, for this CZ Designs for those $5, five pounds. You guys are absolutely amazing and everyone who is supporting me on Patreon. So this is what you can do. You can become an exclusive member. Um, the link is in the description. You'll find that there's patreon.com slash Stefan Kunz and you'll see there that you can actually start just um, Becoming a member for just one dollar, you can give more if you want to. You don't have to. Um, I'm thankful for every cent that you are doing. You are becoming a part in making this possible. Um, we, I just purchased a lot of lights, and I say usually we because I believe that we are in this together. So I'm really excited and um, can't wait to get started. So let's jump in to this verse today. So let's go over here, top down view. I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit. This is might be just a tiny teeny bit too close, but here we go. We got this. This is a very temporary setup for me here, um, but I'm excited. So what are you guys doing here on the live stream? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, so good. All right, so the verse that I've chosen today, and I've actually, well, I have chosen it, but we uh, put together a list. So you'll find that on 30daysofbiblelettering.com, 30 with a three zero. Um, and I will fear no, I'm just gonna have to see that I'm not making a mistake because I am actually terrible at spelling, um, only getting better by practicing it, for you are with me. Okay, I will fear no evil for you are with me. I think that is correct. Yes, and this is Psalm 23, verse four. So this is what I do all the time when I start out, is I'll write the quote on top of my page, every single time. 
um, because this actually helps me or prevents me from making any mistakes. And I hope that that makes sense to you guys. Um, and so this is how I get started with this. Um, all right, the next thing is usually I will create some boxes around just creating, like now I know already this one has four letters, this one has four letters, two, four, three and a half if you count it really right. Um, three and three. So this is always something that I'm looking at for, symmetry, um, because three and three letters perfectly match. There's another one with three, four, and two. All right, so I already see the first challenge with this quote is that there's a lot of one, two, and three, four, one. Well, there's one, one, but there's mostly two, three, four uh, letters and nothing longer, nothing like this as, as long. So this creates a little bit of tension because those words are just short. I'll show you this if I stack them up. So I will fear no evil for, this one is a little bit longer, you are with me. So it kind of looks like very short and this is kind of how I like think of composition is in, in these terms of boxes. Um, let me see if I can just fix the autofocus here perfectly. And, and the next part is kind of like playing around like, okay, these are four and four. So this is cool. Like I can kind of like will fear and then have the eye over here. Maybe put that in a circle or like a, these diamond shape, something like that. We'll fear no, maybe have evil kind of like this rounded for, and then kind of balance it out again to just to try and there. Uh, maybe even keep that here. Again, kind of like similar principle than we'll fear. We'll try to, to create a bow tie here for you, our, and then maybe kind of round it with me. So you see there's, there's an axe of symmetry in here. Um, the evil might not be the perfect type here, but with the L at the end and the E, this is kind of where it put the, the, the focus on. But then I see as well that evil is in focus. And this, I, I, I wanna make sure that what I'm writing out, what I'm sharing here is, um, makes sense like the like I'm creating a clear message that people will read will understand and I don't want their focus to be on evil like oh no I will fear no and usually when it's when a quote is negatively said so like I will fear no evil I will not fear evil so there's a not in it so that makes it pretty hard to um, yeah to combine that all right all right um, Yes, I, I see that Jonathan Jenkins is writing, I'm trying my best to keep up with the 30 days of Bible lettering. So just a, a little note on that, I have actually not tried to keep up with it. Um, I just knew that I, at the moment, just have too many things going on at the same time, and it's okay. Um, I don't have to do everything here. So here we go, there you can see it a little bit clear. So let's see. Um, Fear no evil. So kind of want to set the focus on fear no evil. Um, so no has to kind of be strong. And maybe I can actually set a, a round thing here. Um, so kind of like a arc. I will, then here's the, the gap in between those two words, fear, then have no kind of like big. Um, or even better, it's kind of have like the no evil and then maybe inter intersect that, like interlace it. This will look terrible on a sketch now, right now. So I'm not even trying to make the sketch good, but this is, the idea is like, no, you want to make the sketch pretty much impossible to read. Um, and I also have the idea that the will fear comes out like a 3D lettering piece. Um, Maybe have the for you are could all go together. The I is just something that bugs me out is because it's just one like it's nothing really. Um, I will fear fear no evil. Kind of like fear no evil. That could be the essence of the the quotes. 
So we um, want to have that in the background. So I hear that there's no music. Let's see. There should be music in the background somehow. I can hear some music in the background. It might just be a little bit quiet. Let me know if you know, if you can hear something now. Maybe I can introduce a banner over here, at the me there. Maybe do the same up here with another banner with the eye. I like to intersect. If, if I have 3D elements, I like to intersect them. So this one will actually cross down here. Um, so here, what I'm visualizing right now, and let's see if I can sketch it out in some way. So I want to have two letters that are very tall. Very tall and very narrow. See, if you're trying to draw it precisely, like if I knew this would be the final version, then I could get started, but I just want to show you what I'm trying. So this would go behind here, come in front. The goal is always that you can actually be able to read the letters, that it is still legible. Um, difference between readable and legible is, in my opinion, legible is that you can actually distingu distinguish the letters and readable is where it's you can read it really fast. So in this case here, I hope they are legible, but it's not very readable fast. So. Um, here we go, something like that. And then you can accentuate by adding some, some three dimensions, just like a tiny little bit, just to make that stand out, give it more contrast, like a drop shadow. Also, last Friday we did, on Good Friday, we did 16 types of one letter. And I was surprised that my dad was actually watching and doing the exercise with us, which was extremely amazing to see him practice it. And he gave me the feedback that it was really hard to, to do the exercise just on paper without the iPad because I was doing things that you couldn't do on the iPad. And so 
If any of you guys experience that, I'm sorry. This is why I'm trying to do it on paper this time and to do some exercises here as well. So this is kind of like the cool thing here about interlacing it. Not necessarily the best idea so far, um, but yeah, this is how you can do that. So this is one version that I kind of like. It's, I feel like I can play around more with this one here, but there, I'm definitely sure that there must be more options. So let's try something more. So it's always good to try out practice a lot of different styles, a lot of different uh, composition methods. And the cool thing really is that you can do a lot of things. So here's a very simple composition style. The composition style goes a little bit like this. You'll create a oval shape and you'll start to kind of plan how many words you have to write in but it starts with just one, then you have like the, the second word. Maybe the first one will just be a little bit bigger like this. We'll fear, and then we have no, oh, we have fear first. Maybe I wrote this too big, fear, no, e, Evil for you are with me. So this actually works really, really well. Um, this looks terrible, but this is um, this is actually a really easy way to do a composition. Is if you have words that start off with like one to two and then like ends up with two words. So again, they're not so long, short words that you can combine really well. Then you can use that as well as a technique. The technique actually then goes as follows where you will try to make sure like how many lines do I have? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven lines. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I'll try to get here this is four this is the middle one and i'll try to create a pretty much nice oval and rework some of the basic strokes the nice thing about it is it's really on a slant so that is really cool um, and then i'll try to use the space as well as I can, and then try to really stay inside of the oval um, in the best possible way. So here, keep the spacing nice. So here, maybe even play with the dot of the eye with the uh, capsized eye for the eye will. Now here we have a little tiny problem, just need a little bit more space. Something like that. And now let's see if we can finalize it a little bit. So of course I would not necessarily do that or I wouldn't even recommend doing this, but I want just to show you these easy techniques that you can 
apply and I create like easy composition styles that you can just copy, recreate. Even get the E over here. And the goal would be here in this in this version to really use up all the negative space. So for example, the F could be a lot longer and be taken nicely out here. Something like that, and then just fill out those spaces here by using some decorative elements, stars, drops, whatever works best in this style. But if you perfect it, this could actually become really, really nice, and you can create something really, really beautiful as well with it. Okay, I'm still not actually where I want to be. Um, so the brush that I was just using is the Pentel touch brush. Um, here you can see this a lot closer, like that. Yes, there you can see it. And uh, yes, I'm using this one. So, guys, I'm seeing 41 likes so far, and I can bet that we can get to 100 really fast with your help, um, seeing that we can get this stream further and to all people. And just, yeah, so your help, your contribution makes a big difference helping out here in the stream. And I appreciate everyone commenting, everyone helping each other out. Um, and so this is awesome. Seeing Clarisse actually helping out with Pentel Touch brush pen, so thankful. I'm using also a, just a regular uh, artist pen, uh, pencil with a B <clears throat> over here. So nothing fancy, just something to use. All right, let's go back. I will fear no evil, fear no evil. I want to focus on the fear no evil. See if I can make something out of that, maybe a little bit more. More long. Sometimes when I'm blocked, I just will start off with a word that I, or just a, a passage that I really want to nail. That kind of has to be the center of f focus. Sometimes it's also just, um, a letter that I want to, to to really nail. So for example, the F here, I absolutely love the F when it's a little bit like this. And so here I'm just gonna try to border out a little bit. And again, when you're sketching, all you have to try is really to, to uh, be playful. Um, to not be afraid to mess up, not have all your lines perfect. Uh, for example, if I wanna change the style of the R here, this could eventually be really cool. I don't know, I rarely do my R's like this, but why not? And then here, how do I create the evil? Just behind it, because in, in in fact, I need to push it all a bit further out, so it has the same length, kind of like this. So it envelops it in some way. Um, usually the E that I want to make is kind of like more of a long top this way. I feel like I cannot really do this here, but that's okay. So this kind of will fit in really cool here. I will fear, fear no evil. This it, this alone could be the whole quote right now. Um, but I want to give that the context it deserves um, because think about it, the Bible talks a lot about context. And this is why we often have a hard time understanding the Bible is because we don't know enough about it. And I'm just pumped about this verse as well. 
even this now, this is a happy coincidence, kind of like the O becomes the dot of the I, which is also really cool. And then I think I saw some suggestions about uh, banners, using banners, and I, I feel like this could really be a great way to introduce banners up here. So kind of like the I will fear no evil for you are with me. Maybe we'll see if we can add that in here. So we have for you are for you are So here the last piece is still a little bit unsure of, but I like kind of the banner styles is right in here. As you can see, it's a mess what we're doing here. And I like that people are exchanging ideas as well in the chat and the live stream. This is why it's so cool to be live in this video. So if you're re-watching this, then you got to check out the live stream at some other point because this is how we do things. Dot on the eye, yes. Even a pupil could be something in here. I don't know. Um, could be the eye of Sauron, of um, the evil thing in Lord of the Rings. But I kind of like this. I'm trying to think of how we could eventually make that even better. Um, maybe start fresh again, start seeing what we can do, if we can play with other ideas. That doesn't work.
Ba -ba -bum, ba -da -da -dum. Hmm. What else should we be doing? What else should we be doing? It's a it's a tricky process. I tell you that much. Um, if we zoom out a little bit, you see we already drew. This is kind of the easiest way. Maybe I'm just gonna take this again and try to perfect that a little bit. Um, this would be great if we did it on the iPad um, because you can now uh, play with those letters. I have a distinctive style that I like to do it that in. Then kind of like this relates back to the first one. This is a easy composition that you could do at home if you are trying to do this uh, right now. So you could already be starting on this and perfecting that, perfecting the spacing in between, trying to make sure that the, the letters are consistent and works nicely in, harm in harmony by that. Um, and yeah, and then finally here, this is kind of like the, the banner style. So I, I think I'm gonna go with this one here and this one here, and I'm gonna try this one next to perfect that a tiny little bit. So let's see if I can draw this in a better way. So symmetry line here, then we'll have the butterfly maybe not too strong of a butterfly. This is also where the grid builder comes in handy. So this is where I really use the grid builder or even pre-composed grids for that matter um, to help me draw these lines. So this kind of looks nice. This actually looks clean, cleaner at least. Um, so I feel like this is something that we could definitely use. Um, maybe even shorten the whole will fear. Still a lot of emphasis on the evil. But by using a style kind of like this here, it can reduce the effect of evil, make it a little bit more harmless. Using script for evil makes it a little bit more harmless or not as scary.
then here, the rest here, I kind of like where it's going. I'm enjoying this. Also, guys, I cannot wait to see what you guys are creating. If you guys are drawing something right now, let me know by actually taking a picture. Share this on your Instagram profile. Um, share that in your stories. Tag me in it. I cannot wait to see them because I actually would really love to reshare them and always like seeing you guys create. This is what inspires me. And I got that even on my wall here. We create to inspire others. This is what we're all about doing. You could absolutely introduce a banner down here. It would be perfect for that. All right, this is more finalized sketch. Not 100% there yet, I feel like, um, but I am so excited. Also, great thing is you can use the hashtag draw with Stefan so everyone else can see it too. So you guys can share it with the whole group that is right now in the live chat, um, sharing what you're creating, doing something amazing. Now I'm gonna try to finalize this one here as well. Just make sure that this actually works. Um, we'll try to compress the fear no evil a little bit better. Um, it's gonna scale down a little bit. This was a little bit too big.
Something like that, maybe. But yeah, something is not right about that either. Hmm. All right, so where is that question that you guys are referring? Uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. If I can go back. I'm not sure who asked the question, Clarice. <laughs> Freakazoid is cooking while I'm lettering. That's good. Okay, so I'm still stuck, which happens quite often, more than you can think, when you probably can imagine. Um, I actually kind of like this one here. So still one, we have here one, we have number two, and we have number three. So this time it's you guys who uh, get to decide which one I should continue. So let me put those options over here. Guys, let me know which one I should continue, which one I should do and uh, keep on going. Is it the first one with the uh, slanted uh, script style? Is it the banner style here that I just have to perfect in some way, make it better? Or is it this more composition style lettering where I just have to come up with a little bit more creativity, create more styles in it, adding some additional things here, um, and so on. How many styles, composition sketches do you typically do before you get to the final one? Oh, great. Thank you so much, Jonathan, for, for that. Um, I usually will create um, a lot of composition until I'm really happy. And so here we see we got three, two, 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 three, two, 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 uh, a lot on two. So two looks like it's the winner. Um, boom, you guys are going for this one. So unfortunately, uh, Shraddha 3 doesn't count if you post it like 10 times, but I appreciate it though. Um, we're going for two and we're trying to figure out how to do this one really, really well. So um, again, guys, it's so demanding sometimes to do uh, different compositions. You have to come up with all these different ideas. And I tell you, every single quote will be different from the other one. So it's never gonna be the same. It's never gonna be um, straightforward, straight, easy, and so on. Um, so keep that in mind. Whenever you're drawing something that you're practicing your composition, you're always kind of fine tuning and coming up with new solutions. And um, it's always a great practice to, to keep on going, to keep on doing this and to play around with as many options as you need. Like there could be a ton of different ideas. So I appreciate you guys all commenting back here. Uh, again, just want to remind you so that I'm extremely thankful for every uh, Patreon member out here who is supporting this channel. This is how you can support this channel. This is how you can help um, me out doing more of these. Uh, that's where we also gonna do, we're gonna start doing coaching sessions as well. So this is a secret for the Patreon group, the exclusive members only. So Patreon, the link is in the description. Um, it's where we're going to do start doing coaching and so you guys can be a part of that, which is gonna be fun. Um, and I just wanted to say thank you again for all the Patreons that are supporting here and that help out. And also Jonathan for managing here a little bit with the comments. That is so helpful. You are amazing. He's one of my Patreons actually. Jonathan is one of my Patreons who upped the game from $1 to $10 after I texted him about all of these stuff that I'm trying to do. And so I'm super thankful for that. Um, so again, Jonathan, thank you for your help for being such an amazing help in the stream and on the platform, and so I'm really excited. Okay, let's start off by doing the two, the second one over here and um, seeing how we are doing. I fear no creative block for Stefan is with me, so good. 
I like that. Uh, always keep your humor, that is good. Also, just ask your questions in the comments. Hopefully we'll get to them very soon, very fast. And we just hit 100 likes, which is absolutely amazing. Thank you guys so much. Uh, that is very cool. We are, are also still growing on the stream, uh, which is also very fun. Um, numbers really don't matter, but hey, we're here together. We're doing this together and uh, we are doing some good old Bible lettering. So let's see again, just a helpline over here. Just some sharp pen is always really good. Okay, 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 okay. So this is the middle. Maybe I'll have to take another pen here, more of... Super dark. I need a light, an H, an H pen. HP. Ah, close. Do I have that H? Probably HP too. Anyway, let's see. Too big. <laughs> Am I correct to assume that you guys still don't hear any sound? because you guys should hear sound. It's a slight, slight slant here. Maybe I'll have them touch. That could be fun.
kind of don't understand my lines anymore. I feel like this. To be really honest, I haven't been doing a lot of finalizing on paper for a very long time. It is good though.
So this already looks a lot better, in my opinion, in my humble opinion. Let's see. There's just a couple of things I still feel that I'm struggling with, especially here at the top, because the eye just doesn't look very well balanced. Trying to see if I can add like just one line maybe. So Jenny, I do prefer I do prefer writing um, all caps in most cases, uh, just because the upper line, the lower line, like the baseline, the ascender here, pretty much have the same height, uh, so it's always pretty much perfect. And I will use small cap letters when I do script style. So the no here, this is all uppercase just because it's it's so much nicer. Like you could change it to a small cap no, like it could work, absolutely. Um, but I really like writing uppercase letters that way. Um, trying to figure out if I can somehow manage to get these to kind of link back together or just somehow make it more come together in one place. Um, that is the goal. It's actually really helpful to see it on the screen as well, the way you guys do it. Another way could be is to actually lay those three words out together or I know you guys love banners. There's a whole video on banners, how I did banners. Like I did a whole live stream on just banners. Um, Ah, it was better before. However, this solution could work really nice.
All right, this, this feels like it's working. So we have this kind of same style banner. I'm just gonna reduce the size as well here. Um, kind of like hierarchy of words, making sure that it's not just too prevalent. this I will fear no evil for you are with me and then maybe placing that even closer together so kind of they can overlap and this could look really good so I could use now a a pencil, a heavier pencil, a, like a, oh yeah, this one. Let's see if I can give you guys another camera angle. Doesn't seem to be working. Double face? Nope.
Time for a little water break. And thank you very much, Jonathan. All right, this is, I would say this is the final sketch. This is not, this is not the final design. This is a sketch in my opinion, um, but it's cool as is. You could add some splashes. I always like these type of stars. Definitely something that I would try is kind of like adding some glows here just to give that, I don't know, that letter some some kind of like element here. I don't actually have anything right now to, to do that. Um, but yeah, definitely can be improved upon. It could be some elements that could be added everywhere around just here to fill out those gaps just with some stars, small elements. Suddenly this this O becomes kind of like the dot, the inverted negative dot of the I, um, and so on. But I kind of like where this is going, where we've, where we've taken this so far. And just so we can recap everything we've done today. So we started out with uh, writing out the quotes, just in all caps. Uh, this is what I usually would start doing, then kind of like try and figure out different ways of putting them together. Um, here I showed you kind of like the easiest way to come up with a styled um, composition. It's really easy to put that into a oval circle over there. Um, and so a lot of that could be really fun in doing so. And then we play around with different ideas. We came up with this one here. We started off just with fear no evil, kind of the main message from this verse, which I feel like is, um, is the essential part. Finally here, I will feel no evil, uh, again, tried out to redo some of those sketches. So I kind of went through different stages in the whole parts. I went from doing some uh, sketches, going back and forth and trying to, to finalize one, to try to make them a little bit better. And then finally, you guys voted for number three. So there we go. This is um, version number three. And uh, I really like how we improved, evolved these banners and kind of like made them better. I feel like if we could kind of link this here to uh, back here, whoa, this is difficult, like there. So kind of like would go over here and then back up and then back up um, to have these different elements there. I really like this. Uh, it's really cool. It's definitely, definitely gotten a lot better from the initial sketch that we had over here. Um, I also like the style here, but it's, I think the banners, we found a way to correct those banners. So guys, I hope that what you learned today is one, be creative because that's kind of like, it just takes some practice to do that. Also just try out different ways of composition. You hopefully will find out uh, different ways to do something, uh, be creative with the, uh, with the boxes, get the grid builder or pre-composed grid builders. If you're having trouble with coming up with sketches with compositions, then the pre-composed grid builder or pre-composed grids are actually like pre-layouted versions of kind of like boxes. So if you if you take uh, some of my designs that I just finished, you would kind of get. Let me see if I can just sketch that up for you so you have a basic idea.
So this this could be a, a pre-composed grid that you could have, you could get. I have a lot of bundles on my shop that has kind of these uh, bundles or grids. Uh, I, I usually prepare them in advance for the 30 days of Bible lettering challenge, but unfortunately this time around it didn't work. But then what you do, what you get is when you have that, is you can just fill it out like you get a, a pen. And this is really, this is kind of the box that you get. And you're like, oh, wait, I um, will fear. And you just follow those lines, fear. And you're like creative, like, I don't know, I'm like, no evil for you are with me. Something like that. And this is how easy it is to use pre-composed grids really to kind of like draw that stuff really in an easy way. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this session. I hope that you had a great time. I did. Um, I cannot wait to see what you guys create. So don't forget to share with me, share it also with the group, like using hashtag draw with Stefan. Um, this is the hashtag, the official hashtag we're using for these streams. Uh, I'm really excited for the next sessions. I'm still open for new ideas. Like I've gone through most of my ideas already. Uh, still have like neon signs uh, that I wanna do, kind of like how to create a beautiful neon uh, lettering piece. Um, I got like 25 more letters or of the alphabet to go through, maybe like 20 more or 20, 19 more. Um, so, so many different things to do. And again, just wanted to say thank you to the Patreons who make this possible. Um, this is how you can support this stream and this channel. Also, if you haven't already, don't forget to hit the like button um, if you love this, this one thing, uh, what we did today. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. So if you want to be uh, notified whenever these come along, then just turn on the notification bell. You'll get emailed, you get uh, notified whenever we're doing another draw session. And uh, I cannot wait to see what you guys create. And so hopefully see you guys soon on Wednesday, Friday, Mondays. Today's Monday, so this is why we did it today. Um, Wednesdays and Fridays as well. And so I hope you guys have a great day. Have a great Easter, and I'll hope to see you very, very soon. Bye.